What's up guys, today we're going to be opening something I've never opened and something I rarely open in OCG products. I never opened OCG and we have never opened a Dark Paladin tin. I don't even know when this came out, but it was a while ago because I think it has a... They have a... What are these called? Volume packs? Volume 1 or whatever? I don't know. We're about to find out. But this was sent in by a viewer to be opened for him, which is pretty cool. So we're going to read the note he sent with this. I didn't unpackage it because I wanted to have everything ready. Hey Ruxin, thanks for opening this tin for me and congrats on 30k subscribers. Inside I left a few cards for the giveaway for this video and I'd like you to give away the promo Beast of Tawar from this tin as well. From this tin, I would really like to pull Ultimate Rare Dark Paladin. If we pull that, we're going to lose it. It's going to be crazy. From the Champion of Black Magic or an Ultra Parallel Blue Eyes White Dragon from Duelist Legacy 2. That would be insane. Look forward to your future openings on the channel. Can't wait to watch 35k Metal Raiders box. Me too. So make sure you guys subscribe. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can get there. 35,000. All right. Instagram at yu gi underscore TCG underscore. Make sure you guys check him out. Austin sent us this epic tin. He also sent an envelope a while ago, and I kind of like lost. I didn't lose it, but like it was under some stuff, so I didn't open it in the last mail day. So we're going to open this up real quick. He sent me this. It's uh, It looks like it's just a card. We pulled another one. <laughs> Judging by that, hopefully you don't already have the DL2 copy. Oh, this is the first, this is the first one I have. DL2 Pequeno Moth. So that's actually really cool because I do not have this one yet. That's pretty cool. I was like, DL2? Yeah, that's why, that's why I don't have it. It's foreign. But so is Pequeno Moth. He also sent cards for the giveaway. So the giveaway for this video, three Bubonic Vermin. And then you guys have a chance to get Light and Darkness Dragon from Storm of Ragnarok and a... Oh, not a secret. Rare. This is the Invasion of Chaos Special Edition Magic Cylinder. So all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments... I guess what card you want to see, but honestly, I have no idea what's in here, so maybe you don't either. Uh, Dark Paladin is obviously a chance because he said so. And let's finally crack this thing open. I don't even know what to call it. Dark Paladin tin, I guess. OCG, I'm extremely excited, but the I know the pulls can be brutal on OCG, so if we pull nothing, then it's, even it's like even more likely than English. You guys know how English can be when we went two for 30 in an opening. Oh, this is interesting. So this is just like, cool. All right. So here we go. He said he also wants to give away the Beast of Tawar, which is the promo. Check out those Japanese packs and this wrapping. So look, uh, Japanese, they didn't uh, leave their their things loose in the tin like the English did. Good job. The English people, they were not the sharpest. But here we go. How in the world do you open this? Okay, we've done it. We got it open. This is also part of the giveaway. A sealed Beast of Tawar from the tin. It's kind of hilarious that it's a Dark Paladin tin in the promos of Beast of Tawar. It's a huge troll. Honestly, I... That's misleading. I'm sure a lot of kids were not happy about that. Okay, so we have... Okay, is there any way for me to read this? There's got to be a number on here, right? Or something? I don't know. I don't know what we're... I don't know. I should have done more research. Okay, volume one. There we go. We can read that. Volume two. So we know those are... I think those are the original packs. So we might want to start with these. I, I have no idea. Let's just do it. Let's just open. There's a bunch of packs, but... It's pretty tough to pull foils out of here. So I think ultimate rares are the highest rarity. You can still pull ultras and... Okay, wait. How are we going to open this? Y'all were telling me to do this. Okay, does this work? Wait, where's the pull tab? Where's the pull tab? I don't know how to... Let's try upside down. Let's just do it like upside down. Yeah, that, that works the best. Yep, yeah, there we go. Because the pull tab, I'm sure, is here. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Just let me know where I missed, where I missed it. But these, uh, I couldn't find it. It's not like the newer ones where it's pretty obvious. It's like perforated. Okay, here we go. We got terraforming. Let's see how many cards I even know. I don't remember the name of that card. These cards are so like sticky. Not sticky, but they're like the friction on them is crazy. That's a cat of ill omen, I think. Wait, is that all the cards? Oh, I skipped one. See, I told you guys. These are like, they're like stuck together. All right, so that's the first pack. Not sure what it's called, but we can pull these ultimate rares. So that's obviously what we're hoping for. This looks like it's called Yugi and a card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was bad. I, I don't know. I should have done more research on these. Japanese, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. I'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot more about OCG products than I do. I've not opened too many of them, mostly in mail days from you guys sending me stuff. Okay. What's this called? Like, Is this called like Des Dindle or something like that? So let's see, this is 302. See, like, just... Yeah, it's just confusing. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. 
I don't know what that's from. Wait. Okay, f is this like front, front base, front line or something? Oh, wave motion cannon. Okay, it's a decent card. It's still good in English at least. All right, next one, world standard. OCG pack from this Dark Paladin tin. Yeah, why is the promo not a Dark Paladin? That's all I gotta say. That's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy to me. Why does it have a Dark Paladin on the front of the tin? What's the point? If you can't actually get a Dark Paladin, look. But I know blue. I know a Blue Eyes tin that had a Blue Eyes on the front but didn't have it in it. But I think that was an error. So. Oh, this is upside down. Oh, did we get something? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The ultimate obedient fiend. 3,500, big boy. This is a koala. I don't remember what his name is. This is uh, something with spell counters. Oh, just an upside down common. That is a scary looking card, not gonna lie. I'm a little weirded out by that card. On to the next one. Here we go. Okay, we got four more packs. Okay, four more packs. So far, we're all commons. We did get our promo, of course. Can we get an ultimate rare? Come on, let's do this. Just do it. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, it's upside down again. Maybe this is normal. I don't remember what that card was called. Ooh, that, that has Hades on it, and it's the that's Deal with Dark Ruler, I think. Because it's to summon um the the guy in Dark Crisis, the Berserk Dragon or something like that. Okay, a warrior. I don't remember what he's called, the timidity or something. Holy crap! Oh my sleep it up, sleep it up. Holy crap, we pulled an ultimate rare. Black Luster Soldier. Just regular Black Luster Soldier. The Ritual. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. This looks so good. Why do we not get this in Duelist Pack Yugi? Can you imagine? Dark Paladin. This. Oh my. He is going to be so hyped. I'm not telling him. We got to release this video tomorrow. Yeah. We're definitely releasing this video first. This is crazy. And do you guys know how hard it is to pull these? I don't really. I just know it's really hard. It is really hard to get ultimate rares. There's like one or two per set. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I, I, I can probably find a price for it. I'll try and put it up. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing like a hundred bucks or something. Whoa. Blackluster Soldier. That looks incredible. I am so high. Oh my goodness. Austin. Thank you for letting us see this card. This is incredible. This guy looks like it's super clean too. I can probably grade a 10. Wow, that's so awesome. That made this whole tin worth it. I don't know what he paid, um, but it's worth it. That's all I can say. Wow, okay. Wow, that is super awesome. Oh my goodness. We still have three more packs too. That's got to be like one of the coolest looking cards. Those ultimate rares that the Japanese packs, you know, the old packs have. Oh my goodness, they're incredible. That is so awesome. Okay, let me uh, fix that. Okay, that is so awesome. I was not expecting that at all. Wow, the quality of that card is so nice. It's like mint. Prestige cards from beyond, I think. Deal with Dark Ruler. Wow. Thousand Needles. I'm, I'm wowed. And what is this? I don't know, but it's kind of creepy. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm shocked. See, guys, I'm telling you, it is hard to pull like foils at all, much less ultimate rare. My goodness, that is crazy. Okay, this is a volume two pack. No, volume one. Oh, crap, we opened the wrong one. I'll oh, start with volume one. We can get volume two. I don't know what's in what, so. I think it's kind of weird. Like, volume one has, like, some weird stuff. Like, uh, I can't remember. It's not, I don't think Blue Eyes is in here. Blue Eyes is in, like, Spell of Mask, right? Which I don't know which one is which, to be honest. Did we open that? It was green. It might have been the one we opened earlier. Cyberhawk, I think, or something? Luminous Spark? Ceremonial Bell? Umiruka, I think? No, no. It's something like that. I don't know. Oh, a Snatch Steel! It's a super rare! We are pulling everything! Super rare Snatch Steel. That actually looks super nice. That foil is really, like, satisfying to look at. Wow, that is cool. Okay. It could have been Last Pack Magic, but I accidentally opened it first. So we're going to go Volume 2. I think two foils is, like, absolutely insane from these. Because usually when I have seen these, uh, not which is not much, I'll give you that. 
But there's usually like zero foils in here. So getting two is super good, especially when one's an ultimate rare. Alright, we got a nice flower. Fiery Aru. Book of Secret Arts. Okay, we got some LLBs in here. Trial of Nightmare slash Hell. And the 13th Grave, I think. Yeah, okay. But overall, absolutely insane. We pulled a Snatch Steel and an Ultimate Rare. Let's get a nice good look at that. Black Luster Soldier. I, you just always want to say Envoy at the beginning, but it's just a regular ult, which looks honestly may look even better with that blue. Wow. Talk about an epic opening. Austin is going to be hyped when he sees this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys thank him down in the comments for sending this in so that we can watch me open it. And golly, a Blackluster Soldier. That's cool. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already because the first edition of Metal Raiders box is coming. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs>